All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shed Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. <clears throat> I want to go on this lesson on, uh, you know, be not curious <clears throat> how the ungodly shall be punished, but inquire uh how the righteous shall be saved okay uh that's uh from second ezra uh 9 and 13 but i'm gonna start at uh the first uh verse okay this is second ezra chapter 19 uh i mean chapter 9 verse 1 it says he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself and when thou seest part of the signs past how I mean, which I have told you before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest shall so, I mean will begin to visit the world which he made. Okay, and that pretty much goes into um, Matthew the twenty fourth chapter. Okay, um, where it talks about you know the uh, the, the the signs. Of the Lord coming back to uh, destroy um, the world, okay, or the, or this this place known as Babylon the Great and other parts of the world, okay, where where it says you know uh, the rumors of wars and the wars going on, okay, uh, the nation rising against nation, kingdom against kingdom, the famines, pestilences, earthquakes, okay, these are the things that you know are going to uh, happen. Towards the end of the world, okay. Um, so these things are happening as we speak, and every day we look, we're looking at the the dollar bill crashing and um, uh, the famine to come, World War Three, okay. And we're not looking at World War Three or the dollar bill crashing to say, okay, you're rich. Uh, so all that money that you have. You know, we know that you're going to get destroyed or you're going to be uh, you're going to be out here crying, which, of course, that's according to the scriptures. A lot of people out here are going to be uh, bewailing for their riches, you know, because that dollar bill is going to crash. OK, but the ones who know what's going on. OK, we know that we're looking for the dollar bill because to crash because that's a sign that the Lord is coming back. To uh, redeem his elect. Okay it says. Therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes. And uproars of the people in the world. Which that's going on. Then shalt thou well understand. That the most high spake of these things. From the days that were before you. Even from the beginning. Okay so the Lord spoke of. These things happening. Before they even happened. Okay he spoke of the RFID chip. Uh, he spoke of. Um. Of the, the the Israelites going into slavery, okay, way before we went into slavery, he spoke of of, of us losing our heritage, us being uh, under the curses, black on black or so called black on black crime, okay, uh, the stepfather's not there, the the child support, all that stuff. The Lord spoke of these things. It says, "For like is all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end." And the end is is manifest. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works, and endings and effects and signs. And everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby you believed. Okay, so the ones that are slated to be saved, because nobody is saved yet. Okay. The Lord had the Lord chose them from the very beginning to be saved. They're going to come forth and they're going to do the works and they're going to live by faith. Okay, it says shall be preserved from the sad pearls. Okay, so the ones who do believe, they're the ones who's going to going to make it through these hard times that are going to come. Okay, they're the ones who's not going to have to worry about uh, the the eating and stuff like that. Or, or, or the, the, the drinking of water and, and, and things of that nature. Okay. 
Uh, it said when this when this place crashes, by the way. And shall so see my salvation and my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Okay, and that's what I just basically said. The Lord has people from the very beginning that you know He sanctified to be saved. Okay. From the very beginning, nobody is saved that we don't know whether we're saved or not, okay? Um, but being on this path, you know that you're you're in the right direction, okay? Knowing that you're an Israelite and doing the works and living by faith. It says, Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despite, despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such is in their life have received benefits and have not known me. So you have people that are that are rich out here. People that are uh living life as if the Lord doesn't exist. You know? And when that time comes they'll get what what is uh due for them. Okay? But the people who are living according to what the scriptures say, when the time comes they'll get what's due to them, which is the glory. Okay? Um it says and they that have loathed my law, while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was upon them, understood not, but despised it, the same must know it after death by pain, okay? And that's going to be through the thermonuclear missiles, okay? Um, the destruction that is to come to America, okay? It says, and therefore be thou not curious... How the ungodly shall be punished. Because there's a lot of people that are ungodly out here. And there's a lot of ways that they're going to gonna be uh, they're gonna be uh, killed or put to death. Okay? It says, and when, okay, don't worry about how they're going to uh, get punished and when they're going to get punished. But inquire how the righteous shall be saved. Okay? And the thing is... It says, uh, I'm going to finish it off. It says, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is, and who for who the world is created. So the thing is that you have people out here that don't know a thing about the Lord, about about God, okay? But it's our duty, duty is a part of doing the works, okay? And, and living by the faith to go out here and tell our people that, they're going to, uh, that there's uh, a chance at salvation, man. Okay. Why must you be destroyed? Because you don't want to live without God, you know? So come in, you know, and, and, and get the knowledge, man. Okay. Because you have people out here that are pretty much, uh, sign and crying. And I have that scripture, um, Ezekiel nine and four. And the Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the city. Okay, through the midst of Jerusalem, which Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. So, we're telling y'all to come into the Lord, man. If, you, if you're if you against trans, transgenderism, okay, homosexuality, people uh, not following and doing uh, righteously according to the scriptures, you come in. And you you do what the scriptures say, okay? We're 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 about uh, nation building, and this this truth, man. Okay, we're this is a brotherly thing, okay? You you're not gonna come into this truth, okay? Which you 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 got some wicked guys, okay? That are in this truth that know that they're Israelites, okay? And you even got wicked guys that may a part be a part of Great Millstone, okay? The thing is, when if 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 you're a spiritual person, you have to know that the Lord is going to get rid of those people, man. It's up to you to trust on the Lord, okay, and, and follow the right doctrine, okay. It's up to you to walk that that right path, okay, and it's up to us also as brothers to make sure that each other brother has the Lord, um, in their number one in their in their life, man, okay. We have to, to, to remind brothers, man, you, hey, you got to make sure that you got the Lord right, I mean, in, in your life, man, you know, make sure he's number one, man, okay, don't put the Lord off to the side, make sure that you do what the Lord say, man, okay, that's a part of, of living by the faith, 
So the thing is, we told brothers to come in and start living by the faith and start doing the works, okay, and encourage brothers, man, because with that, that signifies that brothers, you know, had that opportunity to be, to be saved because this world is for us, man, okay? So it's brothers out here that are crying for all the abominations out here. Now, the people that, that want to live wickedly, that want to do abominable things, you know, let the scriptures say... Um, if, if they be ignorant, let them be ignorant, you know? So the ones who don't want to get it, you know, hey, they're going to they're gonna get whatever is, is, whatever is uh, for them, you know, because of their uh, ignorance, man, okay, their pride, okay? Um, this is Second Corinthians 4 and uh, 1. I'm going to get this. It says, uh, therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we receive mercy, okay, because the Lord is showing us mercy, man. All of us are slated, you know, or are worthy of death, man. But the Lord giving us mercy, okay, to, to, to receive everlasting life. It says we faint not, okay. You don't go back into the world and, and be a nigga, okay, and stop doing the works, okay. It says, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, because everything out here is a lie. Not walking in craftiness nor handling the word of God deceitfully. Because when you the thing is about the, the, the sincere brothers, the elect, okay, we're not out here being devils or, 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 or deceiving anybody. We're telling people, you know, according to the scriptures that, you know, you're going to get destroyed if you don't, don't get right, you know, and, and we justify everything with the scriptures and not our own personal opinion. Or trying to get money or, or use brothers, you know, that's not that's not how a man of the Lord uh, gets down. It says, but but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of Yahweh by Simeon Osah. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Okay, the ones, when you out there, you speaking, or you, you out at work and, you know, your family members come at you, whatever the case may be, you know, people... Uh, don't want to understand what the real gospel is, that's because they're lost, man, okay? We're not worried about the ones that are lost. We're worried about the ones that, that, that can get it, man, okay? It, what the, 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 the Marines have a saying called the few, a few good men, you know, and that's what we want. We want a few good men, man, because everybody ain't out here ain't trying to live uh, um, according to what the scriptures say, okay? We're... we're, we're trying to bring glory to Yahweh Basim Yahweh man, and the Lord is going to get his glory, man, you know, people giving giving glory to to other gods and, you know, things that don't prosper them and stuff like that, man, you know, and not even having the Lord in their mind, you know, but for us, we have the Lord in our mind, and by having the Lord in your mind and in your spirit and, and dwelling in Yahweh Basim Yahweh okay, you're, you're going to get them blessings, man. And, 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 and that's salvation, okay? Um, this is Second Corinthians, I mean, Second Thessalonians 1 and 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing with Yahweh to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you, okay? The Lord is going to destroy a lot of, a lot of niggas, okay, who don't want to um, listen. And it's not all, it's, this is not something that we're supposed to get personal about anything, man. We're not supposed to get take anything personal, whether it's we getting rebuked or our women cheat on us and, you know, uh, some other wicked shit may happen. A brother may even may even use you, man. A brother may get over on you, man. Okay? But we have to wait on the Lord and and and, and let the Lord fight our battles, man. Okay? Now, it ain't to say that, you know, if somebody... Uh, <laughs> Uh, you can't defend yourself, you know, because you, you have the right to defend yourself. But the thing is, like, you have to know what you're fighting for, man, you know. So the thing is, like, if you let the Lord uh, justify you, okay, if 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 you are, um, you have to be spiritual, man, okay. That's, that's pretty much to the point, man. You have to be spiritual when you walk through life, okay, with whatever you do, man. Okay, you don't just this ain't this ain't about fighting uh uh anything, man. Okay, you gotta you gotta have your how about I mean your how was what what did he do, man? Okay, when the people came up against him, did he fight back? You know, it says uh Second Thessalonians one and seven, and to you who are troubled, 
rest with us, okay, which that's the, the righteous, okay, that, that are shining and crying for all the abominations out here, okay, you, you know, you rest with the brothers, man, okay, when the Lord, Yahweh Shah shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels and flame and fire taking vengeance on them that know not God, okay, which is the wicked, the so-called white man, okay, the, the, the ones that, that, that are ignorant, that don't want to listen, and that obey not the gospel of the, our Lord Yahweh Shah, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power, when he shall come to be glorified in his saints, the one that do the work, okay, the ones that keep his word, and to be admired in all them that believe. Okay, so that's where our admiration should be at, man. On Yahweh Shah, you know, when he comes back, okay? A lot of people don't want to admit that Yahweh Shah is the king, okay? That that Israel always had a leader, man. Okay? The 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 the, the people out here that don't believe, they always they, they think that, you know, it's okay for Donald Trump to be a leader, but when Yahweh Shah, who never did anything uh wicked and, and when he was Yahweh Shah, okay? You got people who sit up there and they, I don't want that person to be no leader. But but you want, it's okay for Donald Trump to be your leader, man. Okay? It's, it's okay for for uh, anybody else to be a leader except for the, the, a righteous uh, king, man. Okay? Yahweh is the most high. Yahweh is, is, is the supreme, man. Okay? And it's through Yahweh that we even receive uh, uh, grace, man, uh, from Yahweh Shah. Okay? It says, because our testimony among you was believed in that day. Okay? So the thing is, the ones that, that are righteous, the one that the ones that, that love the Lord, okay, we focused on, on reaching reaching the elect and getting the hell up out of here, man. Okay? Along with the brothers, because ain't no niggas coming into the kingdom, man. Okay? We we can look at some of these two thirds or you know, people that we think may be two thirds because the Lord can wake them up, you know. But we can look at these niggas and see, yeah, that that man ain't going to make it, you know. But at the same time, we, we looking at them people that may not make it. We supposed to be looking at them, the brothers that are pushing the work with us and saying, yeah, yeah I, I see that brother is a man of the Lord and I see him making it, man. Okay. And that's the main thing that we should be looking at, man. The ones that make it, man. Okay, so with that, man, hopefully this was edifying. I want to say shalom until next time.